Okay, so we're on 39, and um, I just want to again say the cooking game is pretty fun. I like those kind of mini games, and um, you know, if you played Entrepreneur, you'll know why I like things like that. It's just they're fun. Um, so anyway, let me go ahead, and I'm gonna. This me, I think the last part of the night. So I need it's almost midnight. Like I said, I told a friend I would meet up um, in the morning early. And I'm not a morning person, so I need to uh, be responsible for that. Um, anyway, let me go down to the next floor. Ooh, it's a um, sauna or something. Um, Bathhouse, that's what I'm trying to think of. Oh, there's Gary. Hi, Gary. Is there anything else around here? Just the elevators. Whatever that is. Alright, let's talk to our friend Gary. <coughs> Do you know what this is? Looks like a bunch of confusing pipes. The cats have figured out how to use the elements to run their city. You see, they have four unique scientists, magicians, monitoring the levels of, el of the elements. It's genius. My whole life I've used magic to defend myself. I never thought that it could help people. Water runs across the city and wind keeps the city afloat. Earth and fire help grow the crops and fuel the resources of the city. Like the planet, all four of the elements work in perfect harmony. I'm impressed. I can't wait to share this with Madam Great. I bet we can use magic to help change the world down on the surface. I'll see you and the others at the end. I wonder what other surprises are in the city. I don't know, but now that the city is available, it really is a pretty cool town. I like it. Almost reminds me of uh, Zeal Palace from, um, just with the music and everything, from um, uh, Chrono Trigger a little bit. That's one of my favorite areas in the game. One of the reasons why I like the game so much, and I think I have the... The, uh, the song from that track, probably like 12 or no, many different variations of that song. It's great. Uh, all right. Wind magic is what keeps the city afloat. Look outside and you can see how powerful it really is. Yes. We monitor the soil levels for all the food we grow with the earth magic. Maintaining healthy soil is something service dollars take for granted. Um, that and the fact that you're brown and you talk about earth and the other guy is white and talks about wind so i'm guessing you're gonna talk about fire if you're red fire magic yep there you go fire magic provides the heat needed to grow crops and cook the food at the restaurant and heat all the houses and burn papers that we don't want our spouses to read and all of that it's great water magic helps send water all through the city watering the plants and sending water everywhere else needed not to mention hydrating us because without it, we'll die. We need water. Water, water, water. Okay. Um, okay, so those are the stairs. So this is a different room with a box. Uh, I found the purity heart. All right, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna save it because that looks scary. Reminds me of uh, the um, guy overlooking Zion in um, Matrix 2. And I met that guy, by the way, in real life. He's kind of small. Magic. All four magic governing the world. And this city functions based on an understanding of them all. So you like the... What? Oh, okay. I was expecting a little more... Uh, issues with that dude, but okay. Alright, I think, is there anything I'm missing in this room? I think it was just a, uh, an elevator. Alright, let's just take the elevator to the top. I think I've seen everything there is here. Going up. Alright. Oh, okay, I see. So, the elevator's on that side. And okay, I got it. Elevator and stairs. <coughs> I was hoping there'd be a different section of the city over there. All right, so now we have 
the dojo-ish thing. The dojo with Jojo Gorilla token. Um, I'm missing... Oh, no, I found everybody. Father needs his rest. Please come back in the morning. Alright, that's where Gary was the last one. I'm thinking, I know there's somebody else. I'm thinking, oh, well, yeah, it's Mr. Triangle is the last one. Yes. Ding, ding. Swordsman, quiet. Archer, quiet. Yeah, that's right. You all are mad that I beat you. But at least he let you back into town. So, that's good, right? Did you all favor? Yes, let's go to the bottom of the tower. I guess I'm going to go talk to my pals now. Now that I've spoken to all the kitties. Or all the... All my pals. Alright, did I miss anything in this room? Just the elevator? Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's go to the inn. Oh, while I'm here, let's equip my... Um, my Tonto. Oh, although the power sword, eh. I like that the bananas, they give me more. I'm starting to wonder why I bought this stuff. Ah, screw it. Always change back. Alrighty. Hey, weapon snapper. Yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh. I want to ask y'all, there's about, yeah, we already talked about that. The entire time I'm in this city, I can't help but just feel small. I think magic has made all of this possible. You are small, Gary. You're a small gator. All right, pal, let's get this going. Princess Nico said... Oh, no, it's a Kyle. Princess Nico said you could stay the night. Please make sure your whole party's here before check-in. Excellent. Let me show you all to your room. Oh, dang, Jojo. What did you eat to make this horrible smell? Noodles. She ate lots and uh, lots of them. I had to work off her tab at the local restaurant. Oh, man. Well, apparently noodles get the ape a severe case of the ferts. <coughs> well, it's a new day. Let's see if the elder is up for talking to us now. After we go back to the noodle farm. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna go to the restaurant again before the restaurant is cool. Sorry, kid. No work yet. Come back later, though. The cats here will be craving some noodles. Ah, good jerk. Let's back up. <coughs> hey, out of the way, lady. Well, I guess this is the only town in the world that has a lot of cat ladies. Oh, there you are. Good morning, heroes. I hope you slept well. My father is waiting for you at the top of the tower. Please take the elevator to reach him. All right. Well, actually, I want to see if he's uh, if there's anything in his old bed. Oh, nothing in the old bed. That'd be a good place to put a hiding spot while he's out. See if the player goes back and finds some coins or something. Maybe they can be a, like secret stash of coins and rip off. <laughs> Alrighty. Dun, dun, dun. <coughs> you four have indeed saved my life. For that, I am eternally grateful. And I know you need my sword, but you see, I cannot just give it to you. You must win it in battle. It is the only way to magic. Its magic will allow it to switch hands. 
So it's like Thor and a plot device to make me fight you. Got it. But you're so well. Oh, dang it. Oh, Oh, dang it. How badly do you want this sword? Um, are we in agreement? We take him on? Indeed. Let's just hope he doesn't have nine lives. Oh, no, dang it, I, uh, I forgot to equip everybody. Oh, well. Shoot. This might end badly. Uh, come forth, warriors. Stealing three half X. Barrage. Fire doesn't help. I'm guessing probably none of this helps. Let's do Mr. Alright, see if that sword's any good. Oh, that is pretty good. Uh, ow. Bad. Uh, magic is crappy. Let's uh Um don't wanna use uh, I got five of them I could. Nah. Cause I think I wanna if I lose this fight I'm gonna change my weapons. Okay, so I gotta fight him according to what color he is, okay. Alright, Jojo. I honestly don't care if I lose, because I, I wanted to get my, um, I wanted to change my weapons before I fought. So, if I win, cool, but if not, I'm not gonna worry about it. Alright, I think I'm gonna purposely tank this fight. So yeah, I mean, go ahead and I want to meant to change weapons. Sorry, what was that? Sorry, what was? <coughs> All right, so let me go get my party back. I think I talked to everything by this point, right? Oh wait, they're all the end I think is in, on the third floor. Hmm. 
I sometimes like to go back and redo the things I did in the first run, but um, like all this stuff here, I don't think it really matters. I mean, I point, important thing is I see it, which I did. So let me go ahead and run through all this again. Your judge jab and her noodle yeah. attack. Okay. Oh, you know what I, I think I did do, I think that there was that gorilla token that I had found before. So let me go back and get that. Again. Now let's equip everybody. So the Tonto. Should keep her ancient glove. Um, the Shakuo. Wait, is that what I bought? Hold on, is that what did I buy at the <coughs> store? <coughs> I mean, it sounds like something I would have bought here at Cat City. But that's weaker than what I already got. What am I, what is kind of, hold on. What, Gary, what are you carrying? You the banana staff. I mean, the staff they have here should be stronger than that banana staff. If it's not, then there's really no point at all buying, oh wait. Hold on, back, back, back. What I want to know is, is, oh wait, no, never mind. I already know the answer to that. Um, yeah, Shakujo, okay. Um, shouldn't the Shakujo be stronger than the Banana Staff if it comes after? Where is it? Because I mean, it doesn't seem like it really, oh, it gives me more HP, big deal. Um, it's actually weaker than the banana, so it doesn't really give me a lot of incentive to use it. Just saying. Gotta keep the banana stuff. All right. Um, magic missile that I do want because <coughs> it has the spread missiles. Save. Okay. Shakujo, it seems like a waste of money considering that it comes after I get the banana sword. But you know, it is what it is. Okay. Alrighty, let's fight the old man again. Hopefully, this time I win. I wish I could memorize which uh, elements do best again, which things here. Alright, so he's in fire mode. Um, so it's earth? No, it's uh, wind, I think. No, I don't know that. Um, Wait, that, that's all he, so it's an automatic barrage? Oh, that's worse. Um, water? So barrage is, oh man, that's like, jeez, all the weapons here are worthless.
Um, all right. Uh, uh, um, water to the earth. I don't know what green is. I guess green is wind, maybe? Uh, so hit him with earth? Oh, no, no. I'm gonna use the banana split. Just because. Yeah, I don't like this weapon. Um, I'll explain why if I survive this fight. Um, uh, what's that? Earth, so I need to hit it with water. No. Wind. Wind is earth. Fire so you can hit him with water. Oh, dang it. Ah, uh, know what you're doing, man. A wind, so earth. No. What counters wind as a fire?
see the other sword. Congratulations! With that sword, you now have the full power of this city. While I slept, I know you four probably explored this city and have seen many things. You must be exhausted from our battle, but I can try to answer any questions you might have. Um, you see, uh, I'm an onion, a vegetable. In your garden, I saw other onions, um, but they weren't like me at all. Ah, yes. The planet grows based on the synergy of the four elements. The meteor's energy has been draining that energy and creating what we now know as dark magic. Before, we just assumed it was a type of poison. It created an infection, and we did not know how to cure. But it came from the center of our planet, deep within the core. The very roots of the planet have been tainted. And everything that grew, grew with the seed of dark magic within it. Over time, this energy has mutated vegetables into living beings. They've evolved to build civilizations and lead real lives, too. When the alien arrived, his technology and actions accelerated the mutation. It is unfortunately the fate of all of your kind. So, um, what you're saying is I'm just a mutated monster? And that I, I will lose my accidental mind? All life is precious. It is a miracle, though, darkness that or through darkness, that life has grown. But the more exposure you have to energy, the more it will affect you. Uh, this is a really wild idea. But uh, what if the manatee suit that Marvin wears actually protects him from the dark magic? <coughs> Marvin did snap out of whatever mental hold was on him from Team Onion. He chose his own path to be a hero. Perhaps he is shielded while he wears the suit. In no way does this mean you are any less a creature of value to this world. Um, thanks everyone. Um, I might not have much memory be before I join this fight, but since I have, I, I know what I am doing feels real. <coughs> the city of cats will always be in your debt. You four are always welcome here. Thanks. When we're done with this sword, we will be bringing it back. It definitely belongs here. Yes, and I definitely belong back in a noodle restaurant, making crap for people to eat. You four are always true heroes, and you will always be welcome among our floating walls. As long as you bring us back. Excuse me. Yes, as long as you bring us back momentum from the ground. So, Father Last, um, what the? The sword has then chosen to follow you. Please take care of it. Why is there a guy fucking in the black space there? <laughs> Weird. I think that might be a bug. Uh, he's not there anymore, though. Okay. Looks like it's only when you come off the elevator. He's there. At any rate, you might want to explore that. Your combined strength beat the Elder and the Fort Champion Samurai. You four are forced to reckon with. Yes. Yes, we are. But uh, if you guys have not got so top by Fighting Mice Below, then I want to go down there. I think Tigeron went down there not too long ago. I think the weapons I have suck. Oh, that reminds me. Um, okay, the thing with Marvin's scatter thing. I'm going to go back to Bananas. At least I can boost there. Um... Um, okay, yeah, the thing with that multi thing is it's still spreading the attack you know, evenly, and I don't think it should. I think a spread attack that you buy should uh, automatically have a power that's equal to the regular gun, but, like, make it stronger. Like, I mean, in other words, like, whatever the banana gun is, like, it should dish that, like, you know, across all enemies. Make him barrage pointless because otherwise I could just use the barrage attack and I don't really need it. It's kind of wasteful. So that's my two cents on that gun. It was uh, not very helpful. I didn't like it. Uh, all right, pal. I want to uh, make some more. Ah, there he is. What are you interested in today? I want to work a ship, pal. I cook some noodles? Yes, I do. Gah! What are you standing around here for? Hurry back there and sanitize. You are friends with that stinky ape. 
All right, we're up, chefs, for something stupid sweet. Oh, stupid sweet. Okay, let's see. Um, <coughs> I think stupid sweet is going to have a wrapper. Um, definitely it's going to have some cheese in it. Yes. And it's going to be full of well, honey, I guess. All right. Stupid sweet. Yes, cook. Another mystery dish. Here's your food. What? Don't forget the salt. So do we say that cheese is... Oh, peanuts are salty. Yes. Make this dude vomit. Um, to soy. Yes, cook with these. Dang it. <coughs> Sorry, pal. Put on peppers. Pepper udon marinara surprise. Mm. Not too shabby. Oh, it's that ape again. Just throw in whatever crap you want. <laughs> I build my own. <laughs> Give her seafood. <laughs> Egg seafood, seafood surprise. <laughs> Cook. Oh, that's how you get salt. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. If you catch it, if it's not enough, well, I'm gonna try to make a better food. Oh, 50 points. I can. Make, oh, I get paid to work. Nice. All right, so the recipe scoring. Each meal has a recipe potential of 20 points, and each customer has their own unique preferences to salt. So nice and sweet. You'll get a hint at their counter when the customer orders. Remember what they look like. If you fail to make them happy, try something different the next time they come in. So it's a lot like Entrepreneur at the beginning. You can earn five points in each category from salt, spice, and sweet. A full five if you get the meal exactly how the customer likes it, and fewer points depending on how high above or below you go from they like every meal ingredient is salt, spice, sweet. Rating from zero to five. And the customer info. Some ingredients. Missions make meals. Most make mystery dishes for. Uh, yeah, we gotta fix that. It should all be meals. Uh, for customers, the low taste and salt. So, so we mystery dishes usually work fine. Um, for ones that have a certain type, you'll need to make a real meal to please them. Okay. On top of that, every customer. So you make a favorite meal that instantly rewards you with 20 points. This is the only way to earn 20 points from that meal. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to try to get some stuff added to my uh, my recipe book. What are up? Uh, customers looking for something tomato. We get to it. So it's a night. Um, so let's build my own. Do flat. Oh, I know. Let's use spaghetti. Um... Maybe the cheese and marinara. Does that mix spaghetti? Lasagna. Oh, okay, I need to make that for uh, Garfield. Okay. So the night. Good. All right. Um, I don't know who that is. You know what, there should be, it should be like a little, like a portrait or something of these people so I can actually see their face and maybe their name so I know who the customers are. That way, if I get familiar with what they like, um, yeah, all right, anyway. Let's do elbow. Um, let's get with elbow. Oh, beef. Um, mushroom. <laughs> Why 
but <laughs> made no points. Wow. He still got a nine. Okay. All right, use cookbook. Uh, or build on my own. I don't even know what Udon is. Um, peppers. How about pork? <coughs> pork and sesame. Nope. Alright, I can tell this is gonna be uh yes, no. Oh, there is lasagna, okay. It's that guy always gets the same thing, get him some lasagna. Okay, so I'll use my cookbook. So I found lasagna. Yes. Yes. Twenty points, baby. All right. All right. I, I don't really know what udon is. Um. Let's try one more. Figure these people out. Uh, all right, there's the guy from the um, windmill area. He wants a surprise. Behold the tomatoes. So no tomatoes. Build my own. Elbow. Let's do pork. Elbow pork and seafood sauce. All right, should like it because it's a mystery dish. Dang it. Give us something kind of plain. Uh, let's use the cookbook. How about uh, mac and cheese? That's pretty plain. Oh, okay. That's made from the elbows, I think. All right. Too shabby. All right, there's the guy with the weird jacket. He wants salt. Okay, so let's build my own. I think um, um, seafood is salty, right? Let's do seafood with seafood sauce. That gives me s salt. What? And you wanted salt. Oh, this guy again? I just served you, dude. Alright, let's try, um... Uh... What can I build? How about... about egg noodles? I want, you, I want to do, like, a chow mein. So, let's try beef. Is it beef and teriyaki? Is that how I do chicken lo mein? Or... Beef teriyaki. It's a mystery dish. Oh, it's sweet. Dang it. <laughs> All right. That's something I'll probably do on my own time. It's fun. Um, I'm not gonna waste the recording time doing that. Well, I don't know. Maybe I just well. Um. All right. Let's go ahead and go back to the surface for now. Um, try to advance the plot a little more. Oh, crap, 1230, I need to go to bed soon. Um, let me save it. All right, I actually am going to quit here shortly. Oh, wait, I saw people down on the bottom there. Uh, just more guards. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, so let's talk to the heads. You're not going to start looking at yourself like a cat now, are you? Shigagiri, you made this head so proud. Your mama and pa are so happy to hear how smart you become. Where one challenge ends, a new and more intimidating one will await you. Be careful and stay together. So you got the artifact you need to get into the temple in the spear world. Congratulations on your effort. Okay. All right, let's go talk to Madam Great. And 
I think I want to do one more bounty and then I'll probably call it for the night. Because I don't want to go finding dinosaurs right now. I'd rather uh, not get involved in that. Inspire an entire world to unite against this threat. Good luck. Wait, what? Where am I supposed to take the sword? Ah, uh, okay. Well, never mind. I'm gonna go take a bounty then. I don't. I'll find out. I'm supposed to take the sword later. Maybe I have to take it back to the castle. Yeah, I thought. Um, Great would want it, but it seems nobody wants it. All right, let's go back to um, Bounty Hunter's Lodge. <coughs> Take up one more bounty. You know, I want to do something with the spaceship. I think I'm gonna just even figure out the spaceship quest. So, ship hunt. That's the one I want. Strange alien is in search of his friends and parts for this ship. He has special equipment you will need to begin his bounty. Yes, take it. Alright, so let's go talk to our ship friend. You took my request off the board. My friends and I crash landed on this planet and my spaceship at its warp drive destroyed. I sent my friends off all over the planet to find substitute parts. Help us repair it. I haven't heard from them in a long time. I need you four to go and find them and the, the parts that you should have found. Use my notes to try and find them, please. Martian list. All right, let me go talk to the guy uh, in the ship first of all. See if he's one of them. Frederick sent the Gilman staff to find several parts to repair the hard drive. He's waiting local help at the Bounty Hunter Lodge. Um, how long has it been since I've done a part? You know what? I think I'm going to stop. I am going to do part 40. Because I, I think uh, this is running long. Good. <laughs> 